where the cast of the original X-Men movie trilogy are now. The original X-Men trilogy developed by 20th Century Fox featured several high-profile actors in the roles of Marvel Comics' legendary mutant superhero team. After 20th Century Fox acquired the rights to Marvel Comics Mutants and the X-Men in 1994, plans were immediately set in motion to develop a live-action film series bringing these iconic characters to life long before Marvel Studios' MCU. Fox's X-Men universe began with 2000's X-Men, beginning the first trilogy which included X-Men, 2003's X2 and 2000 SIXS X-Men, The Last Stand. This trilogy brought some of the most recognizable superheroes to wider audiences, starring many notable performers in some of the most coveted roles in modern-day cinema. Even though Marvel Studios has now begun development for the MCU's X-Men reboot, there are still hopes that some of the actors from Fox's X-Men universe will reprise their roles in the MCU to bid a final farewell. Fox's X-Men universe was effectively cancelled following Disney's acquisition of 20th Century Fox in 2019, though actors such as Patrick Stewart, Evan Peters, and Kelsey Grammer have already made appearances in the MCU. More, including Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman, will be following suit in 2024's Deadpool 3, though other iconic X-Men actors likely won't be returning but many have gone on to do amazing things after portraying Marvel's mutant characters. Rogue was a crucial character in Fox's original X-Men trilogy, as she acted as the catalyst for the introduction of Xavier's school for gifted youngsters and Wolverine being recruited into the X-Men. Canadian and New Zealand actor Anna Paquin portrayed Rogue in all three films in the X-Men trilogy, and went on to have roles in other projects including 2011's Margaret, 2015's The Good Dinosaur and 2019's The Irishman. Paquin starred in HBO series True Blood as Suki Stackhouse, and reappeared as Rogue in the Rogue cut of 2014's X-Men, Days of Future Past. More recently, Paquin appeared as Julie Watson in 2023's Netflix series True Spirit. Kelsey Grammer rose to fame as Dr. Fraser Crane in NBC sitcom Cheers in the 1980s, and its 1990s spin-off Frasier. Star of stage and screen, Grammer portrayed Dr. Hank McCoy, aka Beast, in 2000 and SIXS X-Men, The Last Stand, a role which he reprised in 2014's X-Men, Days of Future Past. Grammer has continued his work in sitcoms with projects including 30 Rock, Modern Family, and Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt, while he has also been known for his voice roles in The Simpsons, Anastasia, and Toy Story 2. Kelsey Grammer returned as Beast in the post credit scene of the Marvels in 2023, bringing his X-Men hero officially into the MCU. Canadian actor and stuntman Daniel Cudmore debuted as Piotr Rasputin, aka Colossus, in 2003's X2, a role which he reprised in 2000 and SIXS X-Men, the Last Stand. Cudmore's built physique made him perfect for the metallic X-Men hero, while this has also helped him in a career in the CW's Arrowverse. Cudmore portrayed Jack Hammer in Arrow, Gridlock in The Flash, David Fugelstad, and Bizarro's armored form in Superman and Lois, and made an appearance as a bodyguard in Supergirl. Cudmore turned down the role of Colossus in 2016's Deadpool, after learning his voice would be dubbed over by another actor, Stefan Kopisic, who will portray the character again in Deadpool 3.